welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close, with the big punches, or he wants to be at range landing kicks. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetai Pereira! And now with producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky and Edward. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, do not fight. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to... Oh! Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches 
to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Just over two minutes to go. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. And he's back up. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Letting his fighting do the talking, man, he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets the title. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes and now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Edwards has got the tie clinch now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two here. Under three to go round two. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Misses with the left hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice strike landed there by Edwards. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Back and forth we go. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big kick land. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. That's a big hook. Oh, shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Jab 
by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more of oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his Oh, he might be out. Big left hand. Done to block that powerful kick to the body. Right, it looks like screen screen is the job. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Soda, more often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far today. Big, massive shot land. Look at him talking to the opponent. Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. Oh, there he is after a huge...